What's up guys, this is TechnoCube and I'm here to start a new course on Python. So you're going to understand the very basics concept of Python, you're going to understand the core concept of Python and gradually you will understand the advanced concept of Python. So you can see the Python is a programming language that in the website itself it is written that Python is a programming language that lets you work quickly and integrate system more effectively. So this particular language is pretty simple to understand pretty you know it is not very complicated it is not very complex and that's why it is easy to understand by the person uh, who is reading your code it's simplified version of a programming language you see we have a very hard languages such as C, C++ or any embedded programming which is very hard to interpret by a human body this is really hard to understand on a very first uh, you know interaction with any programming language. So people wants to use some simplified version of programming language and hence the Python programming. So as internet is growing day by day, you will see the varieties of application that is flowing over the internet. And those applications are very, very diversified. And how can we create creative, how can we, you know, create this diversified application is with the help of these programming language. We have so many programming language. But uh, this is the, you know, the most uh, simplified and the most simplest programming language you are having here. So you can visit this web website here, python.org, which is, uh, which will, you know, it's, it's a kind of platform where you can read the documentation, where you can, uh, you can uh, interact with other programmers and developers to understand, understand, you know, the varieties of uh, the frameworks and uh, uh, varieties of you know the versions of Python you can understand there you can interact with th those people it also gives you an interactive shell where you can write you know and inter interpret their your code and can test your code in the in the module itself um, for the download section you can visit here you if you click here in the download section then uh, there are releases depend depends on your operating system you click on it and then you can you know install that so I had installed download for Windows Python 3.7.4 this is the recent version you see Python comes in varieties of uh, versions so we have Python 1 Python 2 Python 3 the recent version is Python 3 and more precisely the release 3.7.4 this is the most recent version okay so it is also written that if you are having Windows XP then you cannot use uh, the 3.5 3.5 cannot be used on Windows XP or earlier okay so this is also very important so I am going to work with Windows machine because I, I, I only have that. So I am going to uh, download this Python 3.7.4 and I am going to install it. The easy steps, you know, you can find it on Google or you can find it on YouTube. There are so much. This is simple installation. You can easily do it if you are, a, a, you know, a computer student or you are an EC student or any other. Okay. So it's an easy uh, next, next, next thing is going to be happen. You, you will definitely do it. So now, as you install the Python 3.7.4, it comes with two, uh, it's not, it's not an editor, but the two varieties to write the Python code is going to be with the help of command and with the help of IDE, that is integrated development environment. So when you install it, you will, you will find it out that there is something called as idle. And idle is basically a kind of IDE for the Python. Idle is an integrated development environment where you can write the code and can debug your code you can interpret your code and can test your code uh, that facility gives you this you know inbuilt uh, uh, interactive shell you can see here so here you will write your python code and it will you know precisely uh, gives you the output on the command the second way to write the command uh, the python code is going to be with your command itself so you will write here python and you will see there is this this version 3.7.4 this is the version that I had installed, so it, it is showing you. But then you see the three arrows, it will it is showing you that now you can write something. I mean the code you can write here and then execute it. So let's say I'm writing here, let's say I want to print something on the on the on this command prompt, then I will write print and then braces and I'll write hello. Hello world. This is the first you know thing we gonna do with our uh, this program and we will just hit enter and you will see the specific you know string the hello world is going to be printed out here in the command prompt itself the same thing if I do with the with this interactive shell here then if I write here print and then I'm going to I'm going to write hello world then you will see here 
when I hit enter, uh, the same thing is executed here. The same thing here. Hello world, hello world. No, so this is uh, right now, you know, I think this is the simplest thing you had done with any new programming language that you are dealing with. So the the Python developers, which which uh, they have developed this Python programming language, they are making this programming language more simpler and more easier to understand. And that's why, you know, going to the C and C++, if a person who is starting learning this uh, Python programming language, it is easy and it is more flexible compared to that of C and C++. And now, as I told you about the application, the diversified applications, just like uh, application on AI, application on ML and DL, they all are using Python languages, okay? So if you are very good at Python programming language, then you can work with those applications which can help the society and can raise your salary. So you can understand that the job profile of AI, ML and DL, which is, which is right now the highest in the amount, you can see the market growth of those uh, organization who is using the AI, ML and DL because, you know, they, they are using the, 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 the problem statement which is there in the society and they are resolving with the help of this enhanced programming language that is Python. Also, the same thing happens in big data and data scientists, which are using the same thing, the Python programming language, and they are also having on the high payroll and the, the market area of big data and data scientists are, you know, very, very uh, highly equipped actually. Okay, so this is the, you know, the simplest overview of a Python programming language. In the next session, we're going to start with the, uh, the main basic concept of uh, the the uh, this programming language we're gonna start with variables and then how can we deal with variables we're gonna see this is an introductory session just to make you understand that i'm going to start a new course and what we're gonna understand in our uh, in our this particular uh, this this course in this in this series uh, that is i want to you know share it with you so i hope you like it uh, so if you like it then please uh, you know make a thumb thumb there you can comment you can share it if you have any, uh, you know, uh, have any doubt on other playlist or any other course, then you can please mention it on the comment section. I'll be really, really thankful to have it. And uh, thank you for listening to me. And if you haven't subscribed my channel, I insist you to please subscribe it. Many more courses I'm going to upload it. So you can check me out on, you know, you know in, in my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you so much. Okay.